Even when little Toby Pierce is fast asleep, he makes his presence known. He is curious, curious, full of energy. <laughs> He's everywhere, absolutely everywhere, wherever he can be. Yes, That's just what like he thinks that. about it. Yeah. Toby, who just celebrated his first birthday, had a tough start to life. A hypoplastic left heart syndrome, mm -hmm. and he had tricuspid valve regurgitation. So he had a leaky tricuspid valve with it. A reality his family was prepared for, thanks to a prenatal diagnosis. Dr. Bezold has been here, UK has been, from the beginning, he was right. the one who yeah. diagnosed right. us. And, and for him to come up with this term and then to know your baby's going to be born with half a heart. And then the only question that I mean I could come up with is our hope. He gave us the hope. Yeah. He's like, absolutely, of course. Yeah. And then we're like, okay. okay. Hope that helped the Pierce family as little Toby had surgery after surgery at Cincinnati Children's Hospital. I, ha I have no doubt in my mind he wouldn't be here without Cincinnati. That teamwork from Toby's diagnosis at UK Healthcare to surgery at Cincinnati Children's Hospital could become much more common. We have been discussing with Cincinnati Children's Hospital, one of the nation's undisputed leaders in pediatric care, and the development of a collaboration with respect to pediatric heart care. We were really pleased to see that they were interested in working with us and developing what we and they call one program in two locations. Cincinnati Children's is uh, you know, recently ranked by U.S. News and World Report as the number three children's hospital in our country and within the top 10 within our country in pediatric heart care. So what the one program two site model means is children and their families could expect the same high caliber of care here, here at UK Healthcare that they would receive at Cincinnati Children's Hospital. The hope is for certain surgeries to eventually be performed in Lexington. With Cincinnati Children's uh, you know, guidance, uh, we, we will start performing the less complex surgeries here. On well, the pediatric side, we're a moderate-sized pediatric hospital within a hospital. And if you take a look at our catchment area and the number of patients we have, we can probably do 98% of what kids in Kentucky need. But there's that 2 or 3% of very complex care that we're just never going to be able to do in adequate numbers to be able to do it at the highest, best level. You know, so to give you an example, if, uh, you know, if a child uh, was found to have a you know, congenital heart defect, that is a heart defect they're born with, um, they may be evaluated here at, at you know, UK by our excellent cardiologist. But if they required advanced pediatric heart care, they may go to Cincinnati and have uh, you know, surgery done or another type of advanced procedure, but then they would be able to get their aftercare here you know, in Lexington. So we will minimize the time away from home. We will minimize the expense and we'll be committed to maximizing the quality of the service. News the Pierce family appreciates. There was nothing worse than trying to go each week up there for a five-hour clinic. He's fussy, and then to drive all the way back home, and it's a two-hour drive just about, either which way. So, I mean, we're nine hours in the car, but they tell you they don't want him in the car. So, you know, if we could have just had the post-care here, we could have gotten back to a routine, which is important for him and important for, for all of us. The stress level would have been so much less. A reassuring thought as these parents ponder Toby's health in the future. You look at him and you think he's, oh, he's perfect, but he's still a very sick little boy. And um, to be able to have our care, whichever way we need to go, Cincinnati or UK, together will, I know, will help him in the end. A partnership that could help many more Kentucky kids just like Toby. For UK Now, I'm Amy Jones-Timoney.